I'm here. So I'm very pleased to see this uh, AVU lecture, which is being shared by many institutions of yours. And uh, security is, of course, a very, very important and very specialized topic. And we don't have faculty in security, particularly in at advanced level, uh, but that you are trying to teach uh, to students across institutions. Here I saw a number of institutions participating in this. And this is really a one, I think, a great contribution of ICT. When the ICT mission, uh, I think the education, particularly I, how ICT can be leveraged for uh, e-learning, for learning, teaching. Um, I think that was one of the things which I've been discussing right from the beginning with the uh, MHRD. And AVU, the framework which is being used, Amrita Virtual E-Learning World. A view environment, interactive learning world. Uh, I'm still involved with it. My current experiments with A view have been on, of course, participating in the development of A view, but also on how uh, this environment can be used for performing arts. Can we teach performing arts using the environment, for example, vocal music, for example, uh, or Indian classical music in terms of instruments or the dance forms? Or, or, or some particularly performing arts, how they can be, and what is that experience when uh, students are sitting across the world? So, and there are many gurus in India uh, who have students across in maybe Japan, sometimes many in the US, sometimes in Europe, and, and different parts of India. So, how they can be used from one guru, and how to extend the ancient concept of guru, gurukul, uh, using a view. That is what I'm trying to re really try to experiment with, and I'm interacting with Ambrita. Uh, other universities also on this and we have we have many things to of course many problems to be solved on this and one of the great problems is the the bandwidth issue particularly when we uh, Vidyan Bharti where I'm national president of Vidyan Bharti where we are trying to reach out to schools and and there is always a demand that Dr. Abdul Kalam should talk in many schools where Dr. Kakorkar, Dr. Mashilkar etc people like that to talk to the school children and they cannot go everywhere so they can talk to a large number of students in different schools. But the major challenge there has been always has been the bandwidth issue and the interruptions which we they take place and an unpredictable bandwidth which we get during the lecture. So, but this will improve. I think this will improve uh, over the in years and we would have had and we have already 4G promise and the 5G promises, 4G promise on right on the uh, mobile, um, which will significantly improve. The NKN is trying to solve that issue, connecting to different guys. In this college also is connected, and all the colleges perhaps where you are talking to, I think also is connected to NKN, and that network was used initially for this application view. And another application was the supercomputing application. That uh, people from, researchers from different institutions should have access to supercomputing power uh, in many, many ways, including applications across the institution so the researchers can work together on high performance computing is another application which we are driving from CDAC uh, perspective. So that's why uh, it is going on and I uh, very, I think it was going on, I was able to listen to you and I was able to see and your PPTs and well, I think these lectures are serving the thing which one of the major gaps have been great teachers, or good teachers in particular advancing technologies uh, which can build to this environment and this college, Goa College of Engineering here, we are just sitting with the principal and the students here and we are just interacting. We are just constructing some scenarios that uh, what would be computing, and we are talking about what would be India in the years to come, 30 years and what would be the scenarios in different fields of uh, uh, engineering, maybe, may, maybe computers maybe networking, maybe security, what are the challenges, what are the things, how we'll position ourselves and where we'll be. So it's a, some, so that's what the very interesting dialogue the students coming with many faculty contributing to many scenario constructions and uh, well, how we can play the role. One of the things, I'll end with this, one of the things was that, do you see India, the great universities of the world, so today we have 100 universities, we are great institutions like IIT, and uh, maybe I am. Can we create world class universities in the sense of what we value, like MITs and Harvards and Stanfords and all those kind of things, Kingston's 
or Cambridge and Oxford. Can we have universities of that kind, what we've had it today in India in the third, next 30 years? Can we be our top ranking institution of the world in India? We are the third largest economy of the world, from the poorest nation to top. We are the large infrastructure, second largest infrastructure of education now. So can we create universities of the world? And, and there was a debate going on now, the faculty members said, with the kind of thing going on right now, it's impossible. But I, there are optimistic pictures that, yes, one day, very soon, we will also be in top 100, we will also be in top 10. So these were what we are discussing, what does it mean to do that. So I think thank you for interacting, uh, giving an opportunity, filling some time within the, this lecture. And uh, I hope I must have shared this view with a large number of institutes who are participating in your, this session. Thank you so much.